Hello everyone, Jamie here. So I had a subscriber who was asking if you can get dark mode on Android 9. And the truth is, well, sort of. You have to jump through some hoops. Uh, it's not as easy as having like Android 10 on your phone because it's kind of baked into that. So it's a lot easier to enable it. So I'm gonna try and show you how to uh, do it through your settings, uh, through different apps we can use and through different launches. Um, I will be putting some timestamps in the uh, comment section so you can jump to whatever section you want. But there should be something in this video that will help you enable it on your phone. So I'll show you what we need to do. We need to go to settings and then go to display. Um, I have the uh, Poco phone that's made by a Xiaomi and it doesn't have this feature for some reason on this phone. However I do have another phone and if we go to the display, go to advanced and go to device theme we can see it's there and we can enable dark mode now it won't do this for all the apps on your phone but it's for like the app drawer or for the folders or you know this front page where I've got all my news that will turn dark as well so it's kind of cool to be able to enable that but it's not going to be on every phone and that's where the frustration lies because uh, it would be nice if it was just baked into everyone's settings on Android 9 but no we do have to jump through a few hoops now another thing we can do is go to developer options, so we need to uh, go to your settings, we need to go to about phone, we uh, need to scroll down till we find build number, I'm going to tap that quite a few times until it says you're a developer. We're going to go back one um, screen and go to system, um, go to advanced and then go to developer options. Um, now I'm going to show you some screenshots because it's not on here but your phone may have it so this is how you enable it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is scroll through developer options. Um, it should be just above where it says USB debugging if you do have this on your phone. Um, and it will have an option that says night mode. Now you get to select always on and then that should enable some features um, to have dark mode. But like I say, it may not be on your phone. Uh, so don't worry, we've got some other things we can try out. So I'm going to talk about launches now and I found a few that have dark mode built into them so I'll be going through them quickly and showing you what they're what they're like. So I use Nova Launcher by default I just think it's the best one out of the bunch but you may disagree and there are some others if you don't like Nova. So I'm going to quickly go into the Nova settings and we have one here that says night mode. Uh, now I've actually brought the premium version but you can actually get this just on the free version so that's pretty good it's pretty good so we can go to where it says night mode and then we can select uh, on okay and then you can choose how dark you want it to be so we've got like a gray dark and then really really dark and you can choose what you want to have for night mode so you've got search bar app drawer uh, draw icon folders so if I just come out of here and we go into the app drawer see it's very dark now it's very dark folders it's made that black the google search bar at the bottom that's now black you've got so many different options so that's why i love using nova but like i say if you don't like it there are some other options so the next one we're going to try is action launcher so i'm just going to go on there so we'll just go to the home settings and we're going to go to quick theme at the top and then we can see theme it says currently light so i'm going to click on there and we're going to click on dark okay so we'll just come out of here. So this menu here, see now that's gone a lot darker. It does have some features such as changing the colour of different things. But from what I can see, it will only do that if you've got the, as it says, the plus version. You have to pay money for it. You can change a lot of things on it if you want to. I only downloaded the free version, so the only thing I can do is just set it to dark and that's pretty much it. Okay. Right, let's go to the next one. So this one is the Microsoft Launcher, and I quite like this one actually. Uh, I'm not going to go into all the features each of them have, you can try them out for yourself, but this one is very nice, you get a lot of stuff built into this, like shortcuts at the bottom there. It's just really nice, I really like it. So we go to Launcher Settings for this one, and we're going to go to Themes. Okay, and it says the theme is currently light, we can put that to dark if we want, and as you can see, that's nice, I really like that. And see, all of that's now changed. Um, have I got any folders? Uh, yeah, that's darker now. Um, so Top Marks uh, for Microsoft, they've actually made a really good launcher, which is free as well. Now, even though I love this, it doesn't have a great range of options, but I still like it. I think it's got some really nice features on this launcher, and it's just nice that it's got dark mode thrown in as well. So very good. 
Now the next one we're going to use is Lawn Chair and that is a sort of pixel launcher and it's quite cool. So we can go to Home Settings and then we can go to Theme and if we go down to where it says Appearance we can then enable the um, dark theme. You have a few options here so where it says Accent Colour that is for the app drawer so at the moment it's like a, a pink colour but you can you can change it to like black if you want. Shall we try and get it to go black? There we go. So when we lift that, there we go. And you can change whatever colour you want. Let's see about folders. Yep, the folders can be black as well. So yeah, it's quite a basic sort of launcher, but it works quite nicely. So yeah, that does the job. I'm quite happy with that one as well. Okay, next one we're gonna try out is called Pear Launcher. So they all look a little bit different. They've all got their own little thing. Now this one's a very sort of basic looking launcher, but we can go to home settings. Uh, we can go to theme and we've got well i've already uh, selected it from the looks of this but this is what it looked like originally it's quite light but if we go back to it go to theme so yeah this one does the basics it hasn't got really too many customization options but uh, it also does the the job so that was a look at the launchers um we're going to look at how to make dark mode come up onto individual apps like whatsapp and youtube and and uh, the google play store how to make them dark now one thing i haven't really mentioned um about any of these launches because it can't change this you have to use a different app which i'm going to be showing you um on how to make the toggles and where the notifications are to come up as black as well uh, at the moment it will always come up as a lighter color so i'm going to show you an app that will um show you how to change that so i'll put a link in the description of this one it's just called dark mode there's a bunch of different apps on the app store but this is the one that i i chose and i quite liked so all you've got to do is go on it and go into switch mode and toggle it so it's black then if we scroll down so we can get to the notification panel can you see we've got all the toggles now all they're blacked out and the notification panel has been blacked out it's really good and you've got some apps down here now it doesn't automatically turn them black apart from google photos so i'm just going to quickly go on that now and there we go the background is black if we were to take off uh, the dark mode and we go back to uh, google photos can you see it's gone white so that's pretty good for google photos and to get the notification panel black as well so that's pretty pretty good so the next one we're going to uh, look at is youtube so we're going to go onto the youtube icon and we're going to go to the settings so i'm going to go to general at the top and where it says dark theme i'm going to select that and there we go we've now got the dark theme uh, for youtube studio uh, we're going to go to the settings and can you see where it says appearance we're just going to click on dark theme so there we go that's now dark uh, for the play store so go to the three lines at the top left and we're going to go to settings and where it says theme we're going to turn that to dark and there we go looking very good uh, for google chrome uh, we're going to go to the three dots at the top right go down to settings and we're going to go down to where it says themes and then I'm going to select dark for that. Okay, for calendar, the three lines at the top left, scroll all the way down till you get to settings, and then go to the top where it says general, and go to where it says theme, I'm going to select dark. Okay, and then WhatsApp, we're going to go to the settings, so we're going to go to the top right, we're going to select settings, we're going to go to chats, go to theme, go to dark okay so that is the video I'm sure there is a bunch more apps that you can possibly turn dark but these are the ones that I use so this is all I can really show you if you did find it helpful please give it a thumbs up and um, if you hated the video subscribe okay well thank you for stopping by good day